chapter, we're going to break down the numbers behind sales. I'm a big numbers guy. I'm a big numbers fan. You guys have probably seen me on the whiteboards and shows going numbers crazy, like John Madden of the insurance industry, all over the place, design and plays. We're going to talk about in we're going to talk about in depth the numbers of what you need to do to succeed. I believe in knowing your numbers and the averages, and we're going to talk through a lot of that right now. All right, we talked about a target. We talked about a target of let's just say a quarter of a million dollars. And then we, we talked through, okay, what is that? That's annual, what is that quarterly? What is that monthly? What is that weekly? What is that daily over a five day work week? Six day work week, you wanna work six, whatever. But you need to know those numbers so that you can really get to where, okay, I it's a goal to make five grand a week in that example. And then we'll add other aspects to see what you can do to actually make five grand a week. We need to break down the average sell. So let's just say that for easy math sake, your average sell is about a thousand dollars. This is, this is something you need to know. Whatever product you sell the most of, what is your average sell? You have to know, you have to track it meticulously and it needs to, you need to find ways to improve it. So let's just say it's a thousand bucks. I average that a lot out in the field, especially if I was selling life insurance in general, along with term and ULs and final expense and all that. Just for easy, just for an, as an example, a thousand bucks a year is eighty-three dollars per month. What is your average sell? Because when you're breaking down numbers, you need to know your average sell. Because if you take that target of two hundred fifty k divided by a thousand bucks on average, about eighty-three bucks a month per per month per policy per client. That's 250 policies that you will need to sell over the course of a calendar year. How do you do that? If there's about 250 working days, that's about one per day. That's what we need to really break down. That's why you must know your average sell. I also want to break down if you're making calls, how many calls do you need to make to speak to someone. I'm meticulous. We're going to get really deep with this. Calls, somebody answer the phone, somebody answers the phone, then you set an appointment. When you set an appointment, how many of them actually show up to the appointment that you actually sit down with? When you sit down with those many people, how many sales do you make? Every step of the way, you need to know these things because eventually you can know how much you make per call and how many calls you would hypothetically need to make to hit your target. If you're a door knocker, you can do the exact same thing with door knocking. I broke this down on the whiteboard during a show a couple weeks back where I'm like, okay, if you knock on this many doors, how many people will answer the door? Out of the people that answer the door, how many people will let you in to sit down with them? Of the people that let you sit down with them, how many sales will you make? And then out of how many sales, divide your target by the number of sales, and then you can figure out how many doors you would need to knock. So hypothetically, let's just do this. Let's do some math. 250K, let's just say that you need to make at a thousand bucks a sale on average, easy math. Let's just say you need to make 250 sales, okay? Let's just say your closing rate is 50%. When you sit down with someone, you're 50%. So you need to sit down with 500 people. Let's just say that about a third of the people actually let you in the door when you talk to someone, or let's use a half because I'll use a third for the next one. So let's use a half. So now we're at a thousand. You need to talk to a thousand people. Well, maybe only one out of every three doors will actually answer the door. So you need 3,000 doors. So over the course of 50 weeks, you needed to knock on 60 doors a week. You see where I'm going? And out of 3,000 doors, Dylan's got, they've got their calendar open. What's, I'm, I'm sorry, their calculator. What's 250,000 divided by 3,000? A quarter of a million of the target divided by 3,000 doors of door knocks. What's the answer? 83.33. So in this example, you would make $83.33 every time you knocked on a door because you knew your numbers. Now, hypothetically, if you knew you could make $83.33 every time you knocked on a door, 
and you needed to knock on 60 doors a week of people that had some level of interest to make a quarter of a million dollars over an entire year, assuming your average sells a grand, it may not be. In this example, could you knock on 60 doors a week and pick up 83 bucks every time you knocked on door? I think so. This is the level of math that you need to be doing so that you know the numbers of what you need to be doing. How many leads do you need? We talked about the door. We talked about, okay, I, I need to knock on 3,000 doors. Okay, well, over the course of a year, you would need 3,000 leads. We talked about 60 knocks per week. That's 60 leads a week, and they can be new or aged. Doesn't matter. You can even sprinkle in some cold door knocking. If you do it right, it will still work. This is just a generic example, and you can apply it to anything you're doing. Doesn't matter what type of insurance you're selling, whether you're making calls, door knocking, working with businesses, doesn't matter. You can work out the math, but in this example, you would have needed about 60 leads a week, whether they're new or aged, whatever, a mix, doesn't matter. You just need to know your numbers. You need to know how many leads you need, calls, knocks, everything. It's all about breaking down the numbers of sales, and this is how you do it. Know how much you money you earn every single call. You heard me do it. Now, from now on, when you pick up a phone, I expect you to eventually know by tracking your numbers how much money you make every time you pick this thing up. And if you knew it was 50 bucks, it'd be a little easier to pick up. Am I right? I also want you to know how much money you make every time you knock on a door. In our example, it was $83 per door knock because it was a quarter million dollar target divided by 3,000 doors over the course of a year. It was a random example, but in that example, it equaled 83 bucks every time I knocked on the door. Wouldn't it be a little easier to drive to a door and knock on it if you knew you would make 83 bucks every single time?